Life Audio. Hi, friends. Welcome to Breathe, the Stress Less Podcast. I'm Bonnie Gray, your soul care guide for this time where you get to just relax. Get rejuvenated with God's Word, a special promise that's just for you in Scripture, and you're going to get a practical soul care tip that's based on science. I'm so happy that you're here. How are you doing, friend? You know, one of the things that I thought was very interesting, I came across an article that showed that people that were either deprived of food are deprived of social interaction, there was one group that felt more tired and fatigued. Which group do you think, as a result of either being deprived of food or being deprived of social interaction, which group was more fatigued? Well, I'm going to leave you in a little cliffhanger. I'm going to share about this study because today we're going to talk about why we're so tired. You know, it's not like most of us run a marathon and yet at the end of the day or even when we get up, our bodies are telling us we're pretty fatigued. Well, I'm so glad you're here because your body's going to get refreshed and renewed just as we spend a little time together learning about how God designed our bodies and we are just get refreshed because we're going to hear God's loving word. I'm going to do something special today. Usually I share that promise later on in our time together. But today, I just wanted to share it right off. This verse has been such a beautiful breath prayer. And breath prayer is one of the main wonderful practices that I am sharing in my new book, Breathe, 21 Days to Stress Less and Transform Chaos to Calm. Have you picked up a copy of my book yet? I want you to pick a copy of it right now because you won't be disappointed It has become the number one new release on Amazon, on Kindle, as well as number one audiobook on Amazon in meditation. And I know it's because of you, friends. We meet together every week, once a week in this rhythm. Together, you can hear my encouraging, soothing voice guiding you to relax, be renewed in your mind and your body with God's word. And so the audiobook, I know it's because of you, friends. So I just really want to thank you. And if you haven't picked up a copy of the audiobook yet, I encourage you to do that. I'm so confident that you'll be encouraged because these practices and these renewing aha moments, life lessons came out of my 10 year journey to heal from anxiety, stress, and even panic attacks and depression. I share this with you because that's what inspired me to start this podcast with you. Because what really helped me was knowing that I wasn't walking alone and knowing that God was with me. That is such a calming presence. And it also brings us joy again as we learn new ways to refresh ourselves. So I want to be that encouraging voice to you. Pick up a copy of that audiobook. I narrate it. I spend a whole week making sure that whatever I share is shared in a soothing, encouraging voice. Because, you know, especially when we're stressed, it's so important that we hear that voice. And so I feel honored and it's my, it's my joy to be that friend to you through this audiobook. So pick up a copy and grab a friend to read it together because sometimes when we have a really good, interesting format, And every chapter is going to give you a soul care tip. Learn something new about the way God designed your bodies, made on scripture and science. And then it's so much easier to just chat about it and talk about it and try new things together. And that's what we're going to be doing today as we learn about how to lift our body's energy as well as our mood based on the way God designed our bodies and through his word. This episode is brought to you by He Gets Us, a nationwide campaign all about raising the respect and relevance of Jesus. Did you see the Super Bowl ads about Jesus? Are you wondering how you can get involved? 
He gets us as a multi-year effort to raise the respect and relevance of Jesus in the United States. Thanks to this unprecedented campaign, millions of Americans are discovering the life-changing impact of Jesus. And we want you to be a part of the movement. Join more than 45,000 He Gets Us fans getting the latest updates, inspiration, prayer ideas, and easy-to-share resources via text message by subscribing to our fans' community. To do so, text FANS to 70193. By being a fan, you can get exclusive updates on new ads, events, and other exciting news related to the He Gets Us movement. We'll also keep you inspired by giving you access to reading plans, prayer guides, and other tools to help on your spiritual journey. Join this community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for spreading the love of Jesus. Simply text FANS to 70193 to join today. Well, I had promised you that I wanted to start off with God's word first. This verse has just been coming through my mind as there's been so many different news stories that have been unsettling. And it's also a very busy time. If you're a parent, you know that May is actually very busy as we head into May. There's a lot of tests during school period. There's a, if your child is in sports, there's a lot of tournaments or even with music. There's lots of concerts. It's just a lot of busyness. They're good things, but when good things get too packed up in a short amount of time, that adds stress to our bodies. And we often don't realize the cost and the toll all these activities take on us. It's not that we want to be upset about the amount of activity, but when we recognize the amount that we're is being taken from our emotional reserves, you know, just like a bank account, right? If we're aware of the expenses, then we realize, oh, we need to replenish some funds, right? So we need to do the same. When we know there's a busy season ahead of us, or maybe we're in it right now, it's really important to keep in your mind, whether it's going to be a 10 minute walk each day, or maybe today is just so busy, you're just running around getting things done, then you need to plan for the next day to do something that will bring you peace or joy because that's how your brain releases the serotonin and the dopamine that will help replenish your ability to multitask or to be able to have this peace and calm so that you can be able to face the hard things in life. So this verse has been coming to me from Isaiah chapter 43, verse two, it's so beautiful. And as I read this verse to you, I want you to picture, because this is also using imaginative prayer, picturing in your mind. And we've learned when we access our right brain earlier in our podcast series, you've learned that it's using your right brain that will help you to lower anxiety and restore calm, God's peace. It's not the left brain. It's you, we cannot think our way out of stress. That actually increases stress. We need to nurture our way out of stress. That's activating the right brain. So as I read this first, I want you to use your imagination and see where it takes you, okay? When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. This is what the Lord says, the one who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. As I read through that passage, what are you walking through, friend? Does it feel like waters where it seems they may overwhelm you? Is it the rivers that may feel like they're over flooding and they're becoming white water? Scripture says they will not sweep over you. And when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. Are you feeling the heat? Is there something that a circumstance that just seems like it's getting intense. It's not letting up. In fact, it's getting more intense. Well, God is with you, friend. So we're going to just practice this breath prayer right now. 
breath prayer is part of 21 different breath prayers I give to you in the audiobook of my new book, Breathe. Are you love turning the page? I'm waving my hand, friend. I, I am a book lover since I was a little girl. I've loved turning a page. It helps us slow down. Research shows when we read a book, an actual physical book, it also lowers our stress. Not a digital one, although if you love reading on your iPad or your Kindle, those are great. But just know that turning a physical page does help your body relax. Isn't that interesting? Just touching the page, your eye seeing the words. Well, we're going to practice a breath prayer. It's a way to activate your body's rest and relaxation response through breathing in deeply and exhaling deeply. This will literally, if you do this three times, it literally will start activating your body's rest response. Now, this doesn't happen automatically. This is what we're learning as I guide you through this book about wellness and with God. God wants us to breathe in and breathe out, but we add God's promise and it's a way to be mindful of God's presence. The world practices secular mindfulness, but we practice biblical mindfulness, being aware of God's presence. And so our breath is a simple way to remind us to pause. So you inhale and exhale, and we're going to inhale, exhale, Isaiah 43, 2. When the waters pass over me, God is with me. That's the one that speaks to me. You can choose when I pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over me. Or you can choose the fire. If that's the picture that speaks to you the most. When I walk through the fire, I will not be burned. So I'm going to choose when I pass through the waters, God will be with me. Inhale. When I pass through the waters, exhale. You will be with me. When I pass through the waters, inhale. God will be with me. As you inhale, you just breathe in through your nose and you exhale through your lips like you're blowing out candles. And research shows that when you breathe in through your nose, it's called nostril breathing. It does effectively help to calm your system. And pursed lip breathing, pushing through with your lips, that also helps as well. So that's one that's my go-to. What a beautiful picture we can rest into right now. God is walking with you. So let me get back to this mystery that I set up, this cliffhanger I set you up on. This episode is brought to you by He Gets Us, a nationwide campaign all about raising the respect and relevance of Jesus. Did you see the Super Bowl ads about Jesus? Are you wondering how you can get involved? He Gets Us is a multi-year effort to raise the respect and relevance of Jesus in the United States. Thanks to this unprecedented campaign, millions of Americans are discovering the life-changing impact of Jesus. And we want you to be a part of the movement. Join more than 45,000 He Gets Us fans getting the latest updates, inspiration, prayer ideas, and easy-to-share resources via text message by subscribing to our fans' community. To do so, text FANS to 70193. By being a fan, you can get exclusive updates on new ads, events, and other exciting news related to the He Gets Us movement. We'll also keep you inspired by giving you access to reading plans, prayer guides, and other tools to help on your spiritual journey. Join this community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for spreading the love of Jesus. Simply text FANS to 70193 to join today. There is a study that showed there are two people, and I'd like you to sign up for my newsletter. You can get this tip when you sign up for my newsletter. I send out a weekly newsletter. It's a brief newsletter where you can get the scientific tip. You can get a link to the study and the article. But there is a recent study that suggested where is our basic need when it comes to our wellness There was a lab where they had women. Interesting, they didn't choose men. (laughs) I thought it was interesting. They had a group of women who were deprived of food for eight hours. 
And there's another group of women who were deprived of social interaction. They were just in isolation for eight hours. Which group had lower energy? Which group had higher fatigue? I know I'm kind of leading you on because the answer is that the group that were in social isolation were reported to have heightened fatigue. And the women that had social isolation had lower energy. Isn't that fascinating? And not the people that were deprived of food. You would think the other way would be true, that the opposite effect. But it just shows us that God created us to be connected to others. And so one of the things about busyness that makes us really tired, even though we haven't even run a marathon, is that we're, our minds are constantly churning, thinking, problem solving, leaning on that left brain. And we do not realize, so we do not use our right brain, that's the emotional part of our brain that God created, where we relax. It's when we can do things that are interacting with others. Now, that's different from socializing. There's a difference between socializing and being connected as social beings. It's very important that somewhere within our day or within our week that we have space where we can feel connected to somebody. And it doesn't mean you have to talk about your deepest secrets. Obviously, if you have a confidant, you have a best friend making time to have that, you know, coffee chat or seeing somebody in person or even pausing, you know, going to church if you are enjoying your church community. I know not everybody has a church community where they feel they really belong, but if you have this church community, getting into a small group and just to encourage you because get a little earlier, say a little later, or maybe, you know, your, your time is outside of the worship service on Sunday. It's you're more comfortable inviting somebody over for that cup of tea or going for a walk, doing something together. But social interaction can also be about letting somebody know where you are on the journey. Who in your life knows what you're going through? God, of course, is our best friend. He's our loving savior. And so having that conversation with God is definitely one way our lives get replenished. And it's easier to have a conversation with God when you're outside of your regular rhythm. So my soul care tip to you today is to have a new experience, a new experience. That's right, because science shows us, science shows us the study that novelty is what helps our brain feel refreshed. And new, creating new experiences and new memories is what helps us to be resilient to stress, respond better to improve our mental health, and it boosts our happiness. Now, new experiences doesn't have to be a vacation somewhere. But many times when we're in the stress response, we keep doing the same thing. Throughout the whole day, throughout the whole week, we're in that survival mode. And we don't feel like we're in the mood to do something outside of our routine. There was a mom who even told me, Bonnie, I heard your voice with me as I was driving, running errands. She's a new mom. She has a new baby. She had to go to Target. And she's like, I heard you say to me. (laughs) And I love being that encouraging voice inspired by what God shares with us. I think you should stop for that, you know, latte stop for that latte, take a breather. And she said it was the best, you know, little break she could do for herself, getting that renewal. What is that for you? Now, this is different from self-care versus soul care. Soul care is where you recognize that God created you to need to be replenished. And you yourself is in a unique way. Maybe for you, isn't that latte stop? Maybe for you, it's, you know, being able to just stop by a park and just sit there and be able to take a breather or take a walk, or maybe it's going to make that doctor's appointment. You need to take care of the doctor's appointment that you've been putting off. I don't know what is that important thing that God wants for you that relates to your wellness, that helps you have that rest that you can take. 
One of the things that I've been doing, I want to invite you. There's a parenting seminar that's happening by the Christian Parenting Organization. I'm one of the speakers of many. You'll find the link in the podcast show notes. And there's over 40 different speakers on parenting. So if you're a parent, I invite you to join this. It's online. You have the whole year till the end of the year to view over 40 different speakers. I think sometimes different ideas will help us break out of our rut. We'll hear how other people maybe wrestle through or walk through certain challenges. And as a parent, goodness, there's always something new because our kids are constantly growing. They constantly have new challenges. And as parents, we're their guide, but the guide needs other guides. The guide needs other people to be able to encourage each other on this journey. So check out the show notes and join this parenting seminar. It's all online. But one of the questions that I had, I've been doing, I don't know, maybe even 50 interviews to promote Breathe, 21 Days of Stressless and Transform Chaos to Come. One question I've gotten is, what's the best way to help your child to be resilient to stress? Because mental health issues, the demographic right now that has the highest challenges in terms of anxiety and depression is under 35. Those are our teens. Those are our college friends. Those are our 20-somethings and our 30-somethings. And so I said, wow, I need to write another book or we need a whole other show to talk about it. But one of the things I had to answer in a nutshell, I said, what builds true resilience is experiences, spending time together. And that's what connects to what I'm sharing with you. Sometimes we see our kids are so fatigued. Well, we are too. We need to break out of our ruts. We need to create new experiences. And maybe during the week, we've got the rhythm. It's very busy. But every weekend, and our family does this, we have what we call our family adventures. And they're really simple ones. We do a whiteboard. We all brainstorm. What is it that would bring you joy? And no matter what kind of kerfuffle goes on during the week, we know we come together as a family. We're going to go out for an outing. It could just be, we just did one, which was going out for a frozen yogurt. Somebody put that on. We take turns every week. So you have this anticipation. We're going to come together. We're going to have an experiences. And it's outside of the routine that builds resilience. It isn't just talking and lecturing our children because we know that doesn't work with us either. When we're hard on ourselves, we just lecture ourselves. We, you know, make ourselves feel bad because we can't do the things we want to do. And then we can't. The Apostle Paul talks about this, right? We do the things we don't want to do. We end up, you know, finding it difficult to do things we do want to do. That's kind of the wrestle, right? That we experience while we're here on earth between our flesh and our spirit. But what helps refresh the spirit is spending time together, having experiences together. Before I was a mom, I do want to say this. I was a mom in my mid and late thirties. I got married later, but I was in youth ministry. I worked with at risk youth in, you know, urban environments, at risk youth. And one of the things that has been top priority in ministry and working with young people is taking them on experiences. That is what encourages them. That is what puts a smile on their face. People come from very, very difficult family backgrounds and at-risk youth. You know, there's no way that I could change the hard circumstances that they find themselves in. But what gives them hope, what rejuvenates them, what gives them that that inner joy or peace is for a moment we go out for an experience together where I take them to experiences. And it could be from something very simple, but just spending time together. And God created our bodies to light up, to light up with energy, to light up with those good hormones of dopamine and oxytocin. Our brain literally releases these chemicals in our body to rejuvenate us. And so the study, when I found this out, I was like, I have to tell you about this study that people are more fatigued when we don't have social interaction, when we're isolated more than being deprived of food. So, you know, that phrase, we need food for the soul. That's an important question I have for you, friend, as your soul care mentor and guide through our time together. 
I just want to affirm your desire to not feel isolated. So what are some of those ideas that sparks as I talked about new experiences? And does it have to be first time experiences? It just means it's outside of the rut of everyday life survival. It could be something you haven't done in a long while. It could be just a detour from what you usually do. It's important that we live life, not just survive life. Now, Isaiah 43, even as we pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, will not be burned. So it doesn't mean life has to be perfect. It's because life is hard. It's because there is pain and suffering in life that we are different walking with Jesus. We can follow Jesus to refill our reserves, to replenish what we need so we can have the strength to face the things that are difficult. So friend, I hope that this rejuvenates you to know that God is with you and we do not have to fear. He will not let our feet slip. His right hand will hold us up. Dear Jesus, thank you for being with us through the water. Thank you for allowing us to walk through the rivers and the water will not sweep us away. Thank you, Jesus, that we can walk through the fire and not be burned, for you are with us. Lord, renew our minds. Help us to renew the spark of peace and joy that comes from doing something new with you today. And help us to enjoy spending time with those we love and let us replenish that peace with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, I want you to pick up a copy of my new book. I want to thank you because on the Amazon review, if you go to the Amazon page, you'll be able to read the reviews. And I just was so happy. One of the readers shared a review because they had been listening to read the podcast. So I imagine this is a friend who bought the audiobook, and that just blesses my heart. If you've been blessed by this ministry, by this podcast, I invite you to pick up a copy of this book as a way to support me in my ministry and pick up the audiobook and do a book study because the questions I put in end of each chapter for you, they are going to be very easy for women to share their stories. I designed them as a soul care guide for you. And these are the same kind of questions I ask in my own soul care ministry when I work with women to help them flourish in wellness. I share this to give you confidence in the questions in this book to help bring you closer to the women in your lives to explore the four different areas of wellness, emotional wellness, physical wellness, spiritual wellness, and social wellness. This book covers all four. And so I invite you to use this as a wonderful tool. Pick this book as your next book study as a group of women to explore how God can lift you up so that you can flourish. Well, thank you for spending time. I look forward to being with you next week. Remember that you're loved, you're cherished. Just rest. Breathe, the Stress Less podcast is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. The greatest red carpet you'll ever walk is through your front door. We're Dr. Josh and Christy Straub, marriage and leadership coaches and hosts of the Famous at Home podcast. With a realistic, grace-filled look at the struggles families face today, we cover topics designed to help you become a rock star under your roof, set healthy rhythms between work and home, and build a rock-solid marriage. To listen now, go to lifeaudio.com or search Famous at Home on your favorite podcast platform.